Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing bronchial carcinoid tumor. Bronchial carcinoid tumor can grow centrally or peripherally in the lung and this is a type of lung cancer that has an excellent prognosis. The reason for this is because metastasis is going to be rare. Now bronchial carcinoid tumor is a neuroendocrine tumor and because it is a neuroendocrine tumor it is going to have the tumor markers Snaptophysin, neuron pacific analase, and chromogranin A present. It can also have the tumor marker CD56 present, and this can help us differentiate from other neuroendocrine tumors, such as small cell carcinoma, as well as uh, large cell carcinoma. Now, because it is a carcinoid tumor. It can secrete serotonin, and this can cause serotonin syndrome, which can present with diarrhea and flushing. But this is usually rare because the carcinoid tumors that cause serotonin syndrome the most are going to be GI carcinoid tumors. Histologically, because this is a neuroendocrine tumor, we can see Kolschitsky cells, which are circled over here. As you can see, these cells are undifferentiated and they're going to be on top of each other and they don't have any borders or any visible borders to separate one from another. Even though these cells are present, bronchial carcinoid tumor still has an excellent prognosis. Now here in this image, histologically, we see neuroendocrine cells. And the reason for this is because bronchial carcinoid syndrome is a neuroendocrine tumor. As a result, histologically, this is what we will see.